How did the son of a Baptist minister become a beacon of hope and a voice for the voiceless? This is the transformative journey of Martin Luther King Jr., born on a cold January day in 1929. Atlanta, Georgia, cradle of the Confederacy, was the backdrop of his early years. Young Martin, the second child of Reverend Martin Luther King Sr. and Alberta Williams King, was nurtured in a family deeply rooted in faith in the Baptist ministry. His early years were marked by a deep sense of curiosity, intellect, and a profound awareness of the racial segregation that gripped the South. It was these elements that propelled him to enter Morehouse College at just 15, where he began to cultivate his passion for racial justice and equality. The stage was set for a young man to evolve into a powerful leader. A single act of defiance sparked a movement that would change the world. It was a cold December evening in 1955 when Rosa Parks, an African-American seamstress, refused to give up her seat to a white passenger on a Montgomery City bus. This courageous act of civil disobedience ignited the Montgomery bus boycott, a pivotal moment in the civil rights movement. For 381 days, the African-American community of Montgomery, Alabama, boycotted the city's bus system, choosing to walk or carpool instead. This peaceful protest was a monumental stand against racial segregation, and right at its forefront was a young Baptist minister, Martin Luther King Jr. His leadership during the boycott marked King's emergence as a prominent national figure in the fight for civil rights. His commitment to nonviolent protest, inspired by his Christian beliefs and the teachings of Mahatma Gandhi, became a beacon of hope for millions. And so began a journey that would alter the course of history. In the fight for equality, unity becomes a powerful weapon. And so, in the year 1957, Martin Luther King Jr. joined forces with other black ministers and civil rights leaders to create a platform for change, the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, or SCLC. This was not just another organization, it was a rallying cry for justice, a beacon of hope for millions of African Americans who had long suffered under the yoke of segregation. King, with his charisma and eloquence, became the SCLC's first president. His vision? To harness the moral authority and organizing power of black churches across the South, to conduct nonviolent protests against the many injustices of segregation. The SCLC became a crucial turning point in the civil rights movement providing the necessary structure to coordinate local protests and giving a national voice to the struggle. A platform was established and the fight for civil rights gained momentum. In the face of oppression, a dream was shared. On August 28, 1963, the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom became a pivotal moment in the civil rights movement. It was here, at the foot of the Lincoln Memorial, that Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his iconic I Have a Dream speech. His words rang out, piercing the thick air of a divided nation, transcending racial and social barriers. King painted a vivid picture of a future where his four young children would not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. This electrifying speech galvanized a nation and inspired millions around the globe. It marked a turning point, a moment where the civil rights struggle was no longer just an American issue, but a global fight for freedom and equality. This dream resonated across the world, echoing the call for freedom and equality. Every hero faces trials and King was no exception. His path, like many before him, was strewn with thorns of criticism, violent opposition, and the cold, hard bars of a jail cell. His dream of equality was met with hostility from those who clung to the old ways, the ways of division and prejudice. The more he pushed for change, the more they pushed back. He was arrested nearly 30 times, a stark testament to the lengths he was willing to go to see his dream realized. Critics from both sides of the racial divide sought to undermine him, to silence his powerful voice. Yet King stood tall, weathering the storm of controversy with grace and determination. His courage in the face of adversity became a beacon for all who sought justice, proving that no amount of opposition could extinguish the flame of freedom. Despite the relentless challenges, King's resolve never wavered. A dream, a movement, and a well-deserved recognition. In the year 1964, a youthful Martin Luther King Jr., at just 35 years old, received an honor that would cement his place in history. The Nobel Peace Prize, an accolade awarded to those who strive to make the world a better place, was bestowed upon King, making him the youngest man at that time to receive such an honor. This recognition was a testament to his unwavering commitment to the civil rights movement and his dream for a world where individuals would be judged not by the color of their skin, 
but by the content of their character. King's Peace Prize was not just an individual achievement. It was a global acknowledgement of the importance of his mission and the impact of his dream. His fight for justice and equality was recognized globally. A vision broadening, a commitment deepening. As the years passed, the scope of Martin Luther King Jr.'s struggle expanded beyond the boundaries of racial justice. He began to speak out against the horrors of the Vietnam War, drawing a connection between the violence abroad and the violence faced by African Americans at home. He saw the war as a symptom of a deeper malaise, a society that prioritized military might over the well-being of its citizens. King's opposition to the war was not without controversy, yet he remained steadfast, believing in the power of peace. Simultaneously, King's fight for economic justice took center stage. He argued that civil rights were incomplete without economic rights. He advocated for a living wage, access to decent housing and job opportunities for all, regardless of race. His pursuit of justice was all-encompassing, not limited to just one front. A life cut short, yet a legacy that lives on. The tragic chapter in Martin Luther King Jr.'s life unfolded on April 4, 1968 in Memphis, Tennessee. King was in town to support striking sanitation workers, a cause fully aligned with his commitment to economic justice. As he stood on the balcony of the Lorraine Motel, an assassin's bullet struck him down, ending the life of one of the most influential voices of the 20th century. The news of King's assassination sent shockwaves through the nation and the world. Riots erupted in over a hundred cities across the United States, a raw and visceral response to the bitter loss. Yet even in the midst of the chaos, the seeds of King's legacy were beginning to take root. King's greatest legacy lies not in his untimely death, but in the enduring power of his message. His vision of a world where people are judged by the content of their character, not the color of their skin, resonated then and continues to resonate now. His tireless advocacy for nonviolent protest has influenced countless movements for justice and equality worldwide, from the fight against apartheid in South Africa to the struggle for civil rights and democracy in Hong Kong. In the aftermath of King's death, the Civil Rights Act of 1968, also known as the Fair Housing Act, was passed. This legislation, which King had fought for, prohibits discrimination concerning the sale, rental, and financing of housing based on race, religion, national origin, or sex. It stands as a testament to King's enduring impact on American society. King's legacy also lives on in the Martin Luther King Jr. Day, celebrated every third Monday in January. This day serves as a reminder of King's contributions and a call to continue the work towards his dream of a more equitable and just society. As we reflect on King's life and legacy, we are reminded of his unshakable belief in the power of love and nonviolence to overcome hate and injustice. His physical presence was lost, but his dream was immortal. His words and actions continue to inspire millions around the world to stand up for justice, equality, and human rights. From the past to the present, a dream living on. Martin Luther King Jr.'s influence extends far beyond his lifetime, reaching into the heart of our modern world. Today his vision fuels ongoing struggles for human rights across the globe. He's not just a figure of the past, but a guiding light for the present and the future. His ideas inspire new generations to stand up for equality, to challenge injustice, and to dream of a world where everyone is treated with dignity and respect. His legacy is etched in stone, not just in monuments and street names, but also in the hearts and minds of those he continues to inspire. Around the world, people honor King by dedicating themselves to his vision of nonviolent protest and social justice. His dream is a beacon, illuminating the path toward a more equitable world. King's dream continues to inspire, continues to drive the fight for equality. From the son of a preacher to a world-renowned leader, Martin Luther King Jr.'s life was a testament to the power of dreams and the force of moral conviction. Born into a world riddled with segregation, he rose to lead a movement that would forever change the course of history. His resilience during the Montgomery bus boycott, his leadership in the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, and his iconic I Have a Dream speech during the March on Washington all marked pivotal moments in the struggle for civil rights. Challenged and criticized, he remained steadfast, earning him the Nobel Peace Prize. His later years saw a deepening commitment to economic justice and opposition to the Vietnam War. Even after his untimely death, his legacy continues to inspire millions in their pursuit of equality and justice. Martin Luther King Jr., 
a name etched forever in the annals of history, a legacy built on a dream.